Something you may not know about me is that I'm a little bit of a nerd. And actually, I feel like if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you already know that because I like to try out new softwares and I'm a sucker for like project management systems. And I don't know, I feel like that's just nerdy all on its own. But I, I love the like dopamine rush of getting new, new updates on software and being able to do new things with things I already have. And it's one of the reasons I buy things like iPads and you know, new phones every year. I don't buy one every year, but you, you know what I mean? New cameras, all the things. So with being nerdy, I have been using the beta version of iOS 15 for a few months now, ever since they released the public beta version on my iPad Pro. And one of the reasons I did that was because of all of the new features that they were adding and did add to Apple Notes. Now it's funny, I use different note platforms for different things. And if I really want like permanent notes about something, it's probably going to go in ClickUp, especially if it's about my business. But I definitely use Apple Notes a lot for business, for personal, for all the things really. But if you'll remember a few years ago, I discovered GoodNotes and there's a couple of videos on my channel about GoodNotes. So I really wanted to just do a video and dive into the really cool features of the iOS 15 Apple Notes app and why I think it's like far and above the old Apple Notes, but also compare it to GoodNotes because again, I really like GoodNotes and I think it's a good program. And I thought it'd be fun to really see like which one comes out on top and which one you might want to use depending on what you need out of a note-taking app. Okay, so future editing Jessica popping in <laughs> because as I'm editing this, I realized that I said really cool or cool probably 10,000 times. So if you want to make a drinking game, like this is the video for you. Anytime I say really cool or cool, go for it. I don't drink and I also don't like to, you know, be self-deprecating, but I do say it a lot. I hope you can overlook it. The contents of the video are great. Just overlook the amount of times I said really cool or cool. Yeah. I do have the iPad Pro. It's the 12.9 inch 2020 model iPad Pro. Um, and I have the like pencil and all the things, but I just wanna show you some of the cool features. Okay, so honestly, one of the features of the new Apple Notes update that made me even get the beta was the new Quick Notes feature. So if you're on any kind of app, any kind of program on the internet, whatever, you can swipe up from the bottom right and create a new Quick Note. So not only does it create a new Quick Note, but it puts all of your Quick Notes in one place inside Apple Notes. So if you go back to Apple Notes, you'll then have all of these Quick Notes here that you've created. And what's even cooler is you can type things on the Quick Notes. You can use the Apple Pencil. You can do whatever you wanna do. If you're on a website and you do a Quick Note, you can actually add the link from that website into the Quick Note. So if I just wanna add the link to my website here into this Quick Note, I totally can. And it's really, really cool because you, you know, if you're like on an app or on um, a website or whatever, and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to ask so-and-so about this, or this is really cool. Let me quickly like jot some notes down. It's a really, really easy way to do that rather than like having to open another app. Even if you had them side by side, it's still a lot easier. And then you can even like dock your quick note. So it's still over here on the right hand side but you're not seeing it. And so then you can just like hit the button and make another note. So the quick notes feature is probably one of my favorites that I've seen in the update. Um, and again, you can do whatever. And then if you want to move that quick note somewhere else, like you're like, oh, it's in this quick notes folder, but I don't know, you know, I want to put it in one of my other folders. You can totally do that. So if you have your notes app open like this, and I just want to drag this over somewhere, I can add it in whatever folder I want it to go in. Now I use Apple notes in a way where I have all of these folders and you know, I have like just regular notes. I had a store called the foundry. So that's what notes are in there. Um, I'm working on my first book, content ideas, hashtags, Instagram captions, funny stuff my kids say, 
or do or whatever. To do's, work stuff, travel, workouts, lists, and important things. And as I need new like folders, I create new folders. So it's not, you know, it's not rocket science. Another really cool feature of Apple Notes now with this update is that like, let's say you take a picture of text in some way, you can actually like just go to the picture and copy that text. So I just like copied the text and if I wanna come paste that in another note, I totally can. And it just automatically copied what I wrote, even in like sloppy handwriting or whatever. So that's really cool. I do this quite a bit. So sometimes I just really want to take notes in like an analog way. But if I don't keep it in some kind of something somewhere um, digitally, I will forget about it. So I could take notes all day long in a notebook and I usually do, like I will usually sit down with a notebook, like an actual physical notebook and a pen, and I will take notes or like brainstorm something. But if I don't quickly, <laughs> quickly get that into like an Apple note or click up or somewhere in my phone, I lose it because I forget what notebook I wrote it in. And yeah, it's like a whole thing. So I do this a lot anyways, I will take a picture of my notes on my phone. And that way I know I still have those paper notes and I don't have to worry about it. And then this just takes it a step further. So now I can take a picture, copy all of the text and just paste it into a note, which is really freaking cool. Now, another cool feature of the new like Apple Notes situation is tagging people in the note itself. So you've been able to share notes with people for a while, but actually tagging people is really, really cool. Once it's shared with people, you can actually go in and tag them. So this note is shared with my sister-in-law, and so I could go in and tag her and then type something. Um, and she would then see it and then she could come back and tag me as well in something. So it's really cool because once you've shared a note, you can tag people and you can have like a collaborative experience. Another cool thing is specifically with the iPad, um, and the Apple pencil is you can totally write on here. You'll notice that this little line came up. Um, and that is kind of like Apple being like, Hey, you can write with that pencil, but you need to make it go below this line. So one thing I will say about the update, even though it's really cool and collaborative and you can, you know, write wherever you want to, blah, 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 is it's very linear. So if I want to have text and handwriting, I can't really have that on the same line. It's going to have to be like stacked. So um, like I can't write up here because that's where text is, but I could write down here all day. And then if I wanted to type some more text, I would have to go below that. Okay, so it's pretty cool um, that you can do both, but you still can't do both on the same line, which is one of the ways that I think maybe Apple Notes is kind of still behind something like GoodNotes or um, OneNote is because you can't really do that. And you can do these types of things on those other programs, but overall super cool. I will say the handwriting on Apple Notes is not like great. I don't have super neat handwriting anyway. I will say that it's very like um, flowy, if you will. So if I go to write, like what it, if I go to write something, it's going to pick up on the pressure and everything, which is really cool, but it's very like flowy. And I don't know how to explain this. It's not like if you were writing with a an actual pencil or um, writing on an actual piece of paper. It's just more of that like digital flow. If you've ever written on Procreate, if you've ever like drawn on Procreate and used the pencil there, it's very similar to the way the like the brush strokes go. So I will say for me, it's not super conducive to like my neatest handwriting ever, but I also usually don't care if it's on like a quick note or something like this. I will also say that for me, I don't really care if my handwriting's super neat on a quick note or something like this. And it's just, easier for me to open up Apple Notes because it's like it's like docked in my dock and all of those good things. And it's also super easy for me to pass it off and view it on like my phone. And not that you can't do that on the other apps because you absolutely can, but Apple Notes is just very quick. It's very quick to open. You know, like you're not you're not having to dig and find things. All your like library is over here on the left. You can see all your notes that are in that particular 
particular folder. It's really, really quick to kind of navigate in. And the same thing on the phone. Everything I did on the iPad just is in the note on the phone, even though it's on my Apple Pencil or whatever. So it's really cool that it can be collaborative, that it can copy and paste things from actual photos now, and that I can write with my Apple Pencil, no problem, in an Apple Note and kind of do whatever. So, you know, if I was on this note and I wanted to add a photo, I can absolutely do that. Um, I could take a photo or I can just, you know, choose a photo. So, so if I wanted to add in this thumbnail of mine that I created for one of my YouTube videos, I could do that. So if this was like a collaborative note with maybe an editor or part of my team, I could really easily work within it. Now for me, I'm generally not going to use Apple Notes for my team or my business because I feel like things could get a little bit messy and we already have ClickUp that works well for us, but now could I make a note in Apple Notes and then share the link to it in ClickUp? Absolutely, and that is something that I have done and I probably will do again. Okay, so, but how does it compare to GoodNotes or something like that? Now, I personally, of all the like actual note writing apps you can have on the iPad, I personally prefer GoodNotes for a few different reasons. So that's really what I'm gonna be comparing it to. You could compare it to any other, you know, note-taking app that you want to use. What I will say from the jump is is, you know, it's not like I can be on a website or just be using my iPad and quickly pull up a note in GoodNotes like I can in, you know, Apple Notes. So that wins by far. And, you know, personally, I think GoodNotes takes a little bit to like get into the note you want to use. So even though I have like set up notebooks and I have all these folders and whatever. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get in there. And to toggle back and forth between text is a little bit harder because you have to actually select what you want in the top. So, um, you know, if I want to say like, hey, what's up in my pen? And then I want to type text. I can't just like, you know, type it with my hand like I can in Apple Notes. You, I actually have to go in and draw a text box um, and use it that way. I also can't tag people or anything like that in these notes. So if I was collaborating in any way, that's not really something I can do. But what I will say is that like the barrier between text and handwriting isn't there. So I can overlay text with handwriting. I can write on top of text. I can, you know, highlight. I can do all of the things kind of all in one, even if part of it is text and part of it is handwritten. Um, and you know, same thing here, you can actually, you can totally add photos and whatever else. So inside of GoodNotes, you can still search for text or written word. That's something I didn't show in here is the, um, the ability to search, but you absolutely can do that here too in Apple Notes. So if I'm in Apple Notes and I type the word cameras, it's going to pull up anywhere I've either typed that with text or written it, and here I wrote the word. The same thing in GoodNotes, I can totally do a search for the word cameras, and it's going to find it for me. So both of those pretty much excel in that area, even with like sloppier handwriting, even with like not perfect handwriting. But I will say they kind of have two different styles of pros and cons. With GoodNotes, you can make really pretty notebooks and you can write really pretty and you can, you know, do all of these like fancy things. And y'all know that I used to create and sell digital planners. I'm actually discontinuing those now and won't be something I offer anymore. But in GoodNotes, you can, you know, you can kind of, the sky's the limit. You can import PDFs, you can write on them, you can export them in that way. There's a lot of creative control in GoodNotes. I think you can write neater. Um, I think that it's much more like an actual pencil, like as if I was using a pen to write on a pad of paper. Um, I think it's much more like that in GoodNotes, but they both have some really similar features. So in GoodNotes, you can, you know, like if I want to draw a square, if I hold down and I'm done drawing it, it will pop up to a square. You can actually do the same thing in Apple Notes. So 
you draw a shape and if you'll hold down it'll correct it for you I can highlight in Apple notes just the same as I can in anything else so there's not a ton of differences where I would say Apple notes excels here is with the quick note is with the speed at which you can get to a note and also like the collaborative experience is way 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 better on Apple notes but on good notes you're gonna get neater handwriting more creative ability um, with like using text and handwriting on the same line or whatever so I mean I really think it depends on what you need out of a note-taking app so most of the time on Apple notes I am using it on my phone most of the time I'm creating the Apple note on my phone and I'm just typing and I really don't need good notes for that but if you really want to make things like super pretty and really like fancy and whatever good notes might be the pathway for you but let's say you're like taking notes in class or in college or whatever honestly I think you can't go wrong either way it really just depends on how you want to organize that and how you're planning to take notes so yeah I hope that was helpful I really enjoy this new update I think it's a move in the right direction on Apple's part like there are so many so many ways that could come in handy I mean again work would be one of them but if you noticed when I pulled up the note where I could tag my sister-in-law, it's on some travel plans. So we made some travel plans for a trip we're hoping to take next summer, COVID be gone, for our entire family. And we planned out a lot of things and we didn't want to lose it. So we took a picture of the note we wrote it on and put it in an Apple note. I shared it with her. So now she has access to it. If we want to, you know, collaborate back and forth or like, hey, do you think this would work for this or whatever? It would all be kept in that note. I will say, you know, Apple Notes is much more of a like a one page situation. So, you know, while we do have the folder travel, um, we would have to make another folder inside of that if I wanted to say like, you know, here's our room situation, here's this, here's that. Otherwise, it's all gonna be on like one big note. But really freaking cool. If I wanted to keep a grocery list that I could collaborate on with my husband, all I'd have to do was keep a grocery list and share it with him and then maybe tag him like, hey, don't forget to pick up milk today or whatever and then he would get a notification when he gets tagged in that note it's just really cool hopefully this provides you a really good look at like the cool new things you can do with apple notes i know this isn't like my normal style of video but nerdy jessica really wanted to show these things off and i'm when i'm releasing this ios 15 is out and updated and you can do all of the same things i showed on the ipad on your phone but if you want to write on your phone you have to you know use the like use your finger basically but you can kind of do all of the same things with the ios update on your phone so yeah with all of the new fun ipads out in the world the new ipad minis the ipad pros the ipad airs all of the things that are all compatible with some version of the pencil note taking is just like so much more fun and easier and more you know loud based than it used to be and that makes my nerdy heart super freaking happy so I know this isn't like my normal type of video but if you'd love to see any more like tech or note based stuff or productivity videos let me know in the comments below and let me know if there's something about the iOS 15 update or Apple notes new feature that you are loving that I didn't cover because there's definitely more features than what I covered in this video and until next time Bye, y'all.